country. So, can the politicians find a way to avoid a dreaded Grexit or Greek exit from the Eurozone? Here to discuss these issues are Raoul Ruparel, a co-director at the think tank Open Europe, and also Denai Kirikopoulou, who's a senior economist at the Centre for Economics and Business Research, both in our London studio. Welcome and thanks very much. Um, so, let's start with you, Raoul, because you've changed your opinion since the referendum's mm. outcome. Before, you were saying Grexit wasn't a good idea, but now you're thinking it's almost inevitable and... Uh, and it would be a good idea. Why? Well, I think it's almost inevitable because there is no really willingness to go along with the proposals that Cyprus is likely to put forward, particularly on debt relief. I think when you look at the debt of Greece, it's 75% owned by uh, taxpayer-backed institutions in other countries. So the debt relief would mean losses and transfers between Eurozone countries, which is a huge shift for the Eurozone. And there just isn't the democratic will for that in other countries. So I think no deal will be struck, and unfortunately that will lead to Grexit. While that would be messy, I think at this point in time, you are looking at that as really being the only option. Deny, you think that a Grexit would be a terrible thing, bad idea, why? I think the risk has certainly risen, but I think it's still not inevitable. I think it would be a bad idea because it, at this juncture it would happen in a very messy way. I think a Grexit was a much better idea, say, five years ago, but now that the economy has suffered so much already, I don't think we can bear that in Greece for longer. Uh, well, this boils down to all sorts of existential questions that are rather unhelpful at this late stage about whether or not we should have a single currency across mm. the region. Is now time for Europe to take stock and say, let's, let's rewrite that Lisbon Treaty, let's sort this out once and for all? Well, I think so. I think the Greece issue is really a microcosm of a wider issue of what does the Eurozone want to be and how does it want to move forward. It is putting that fundamental choice. Can the Eurozone integrate more deeply and move towards some kind of transfer union and fiscal integration, or can it reassess its membership? And that's been at the heart of the crisis since 2010, and it's just been kicked back and kicked back, and now it's being brought home. So I think whatever happens here, either you will have some transfers between countries to Greece or you'll have a Grexit. That is a profound change for the Eurozone, and it will have to face up to having a new institutional future. You're not expecting some kind of fudge here where they kick the can down the road yet again? Well, I, I would say normally, you know, when you do have disagreements, it's clear that some countries in Europe face a Grexit while others don't. That normally results in a fudge. But I just think there isn't much room for a fudge anymore because you know Greek banks are already shut and they really need a deal to allow them to open again with the ECB raising support. And so you need a concrete solution. I don't think you can have a fudge at this point. Denied, this is the important point, isn't it? And includes the ECB, which by the way should in theory be apolitical. There are rules to abide by here. The ECB has to defend the validity and viability of this currency for the 18 other countries that share the euro as well. So doesn't that mean it would be best for Greece to go? It is correct that the ECB has other responsibilities, but as you said, it's an apolitical actor, so I don't think we would see the ECB pulling the trigger without having the consent of the Eurozone political leadership. And I think that's something that economists keep underestimating, the, the political will to keep the Euro together. And, th and I think ultimately that will be the important factor because the Euro was a political project from the start. Most economists were opposed to whether it would work in practice in economic terms. And I think these are the constraints we're coming up against now. But is it a good idea to stick with a flawed project at this point? Or do you also think that perhaps you know, the treaty should be rewritten whether Greece stays or goes in either case? Well, for Greece, it's certainly better to stick with this flawed project, given that uh, there has been such a damage to the economy over the past uh, years in the crisis. So now to go back into a recession through Grexit, even if there is the benefits further down the road, I think it would be very catastrophic for the economy. And let's broaden things out a second. And Raul, I want to ask you about what could be an option on the table, very far-flung option, mm. but at this point, we could, the, the only way out of this, if you look at the predicament that the ECB is in, mm. is if the ECB manages to convince some big countries like Germany to allow the Eurozone to effectively underwrite Greek bonds for the moment so that they can revise those collateral requirements and say it's good enough, it's guaranteed by the Europeans. That would include mm. joint pooling of debt. Is that likely to be an option at all? Well, I just don't see it really being. I mean, uh, Cypress likes to talk about democratic mandates, and there really isn't a democratic mandate in any other countries. I mean, that would be a fundamental contravention, say, of the German constitution. So, you know, it would be a huge thing to have transfers fiscally between countries, and it really would possibly mean uh, taxation without representation because these taxpayers don't have influence over the policies in other countries. So it would be a fundamental change for the Eurozone, and I think that, you know, uh, Cypress has not been aware of how big that leap is and the implications of 
of setting a precedent of transferring between countries. I'm going to ask you each how you think these talks are going to go. So, say you were to come back tomorrow, where do you think we stand? First of all, you, Dane. Well, it depends on what the proposals from the Greek government will be and how they will be received. I think and what do you is, think they will be then? I, I think there is a, a will from the political leadership in the Eurozone to receive these proposals if they are to a good standard. I think the Greek government will demand some debt relief. I think that's unquestionable given the IMF statements as well last week. Uh, re with regards to what you said about fiscal transfers, I don't think it's up to Germany to just that, given that they were the first to break those rules by giving fiscal transfers to Greece to bail out their own bank. And Raul, where do you think it'll go briefly? Uh, well, I don't expect much from tonight's meeting, lots of discussion and no deal, and I think it will be negotiations running on and on uh, without any deal struck probably, and then at some point Greek banks will have to reopen and that will probably mean printing a parallel currency and that will be a step towards Brexit in my view. Well, Rebrell, thank you very much for joining us.